Hello everyone. Let's study about the symmetry in the electric circuit. So we have symmetry in electric circuit. Okay. So see here. We have. Let us suppose the. I'm taking the very simple question first, right? Uh, through example, I'll explain this all. So we have. Let us suppose one electric circuit, and it is given like this. Now, uh, this one end, that is, let us suppose X is connected to the battery, and this other end. Uh, let us suppose y which is connected to the same battery of uh, potential v supposed to be right so current in the circuit will be i and resistances will be same that is r r r and r okay so now when this current is there now these two resistances are there right these two resistances are in upper branch these two resistances are in a lower branch so what will happen at this point the current will divide equally why because it is symmetrical is it it symmetrical if you place the mirror at this point it will be mirror image of this one is it it so we have the current will be i by 2 in this branch and i by 2 in this branch now after crossing the one resistance after crossing the one resistance potential at this point we have is uh, a supposed to be and after crossing the one resistance potential at this point we have is b okay so potential at a and potential at b are same we can claim that how so potential at x minus the potential at r that is i by 2 into r must be equal to b like as potential at x minus of v i by 2 into r is equal to bp and we can claim that the potential at a and potential at b are same so whole of the symmetry in electric circuit lies in identifying the equipotential point so as you can see over here a and b are equipotential so whenever two points are at equipotential then we can connect them or we can attach them you can say right so we can attach them and we can claim that this r and this r are in parallel so they are in parallel r by 2 is the equivalent resistance this r this r they are in parallel so this two are in uh, parallel so r by 2 is the equivalent resistance this r by 2 this r by 2 in series so we have r is the equivalent resistance between x and y so we have to identify the equipotential points to to know all about the symmetry in electric circuits right so see here it's very simple question now i'll i'll show how to solve the complicated problems by using symmetry and by using the same method right okay and that problem is like this i'll explain all the rules of symmetry by using this problem right so we have uh, this is the two resistance square grid like this it is given like this it is given this is connected to the first end of the battery and this is connected to the second end of the battery this is r given this is r given this is r this is r all are r resistances now how to find how to find the equipotential points now in this we have the first rule of symmetry and we have the least used rule of symmetry in the uh, electric circuit and they say that all the points which lie on the perpendicular lines all the points which lie on the perpendicular uh, lines are at equipotential points right so perpendicular to what perpendicular to perpendicular to current direction so current will split in this right so current will flow flow in this direction so all the points which lie on the on the perpendicular line are at same potential so this point will be same potential with this one this point will be same potential with this two this point will be same potential with this one right so all the points which lie on the perpendicular line perpendicular to what 
current are at same potential we can say so so this point will be uh, equipotential with this one this point this point this point equipotential this point this point equipotential so so fold the circuit fold the circuit along the current right fold the circuit along the current right then uh, this is the first rule fold the circuit fold the circuit along the current now now why to fold and who gave you the permission to fold see this point will come at this point right will come over this point right so why because this is at the same potential with this and i told we can whenever two points are at equipotential we can attach them or we can connect them so this point will come over this and this potential difference and this potential difference is same so this circuit can be uh, redrawn like this we have right so this is the circuit which we have like this isn't it so this is the uh, incoming current i we have right so now see here this is r this is r it will be r by 2 right likewise this point over here this point over here so this will be r by 2 again right so this r and this r parallel so r by 2 again this will be r by 2 right so this r this r then that will be r by 2 and this will be r by 2 so all are r by 2 as you can see over here this r in parallel with this r this r parallel with this r isn't it this r parallel with what which are this one this r this r parallel with this r right so likewise all r are parallel with each other this r parallel with this r likewise all r are parallel so we can say we can say this uh, circuit we can draw like this right so this r by 2 this r by 2 this r by 2 this r by 2 so the equivalent will be r the equivalent will be r so it will become r by 2 plus r by 2 why because this is r this is r again they are parallel so r by 2 r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 will get 3 r by 2 as r equivalent so this is the this is the first rule of symmetry we have fold the circuit along the current right so along the current fold it so we'll get the equivalent resistance okay so this is the first rule of symmetry we have now second rule of symmetry is second we have this circuit now this resistance connected with this one this resistance connected with this one right so this i now i can split this i into two parts as you can see the upper part and the lower part are exactly similar symmetric we can say so this i will divide into two parts and that is i by 2 and i by 2 isn't it now this i by 2 will split over here right so let us consider current in this will be uh, let us suppose uh, something x right so x current will go in this right so if i consider current in this is x what is the current in this current in this must be i by 2 minus x now here the current is i by 2 i by 2 so as it is symmetrical this must be i right so whatever current goes into the circuit it must come out of the circuit right so this must be then i by 2 and i by 2 right so this is this is divided into x and i by 2 minus x now this x has no choice so it must be x at this point so what current at this point uh, what current in this resistance must be there so that the current in this resistance is i by 2 so that current must be i by 2 minus x right whatever current splits over here has to go over here in this resistance that indicate what that indicates we can detach this point that indicates that we can detach this point so same current is flowing into this so that it will be i by 2 minus x and it is i by 2 minus x plus x it will be i by 2 so i hope this is clear right so now it is very simple now this circuit is very simple we have this is r 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 so everything uh, is in series so r r r 2 r r r 2 r so they are in parallel so it is it is we have uh, r again so r plus r plus r it is 3 r r plus r plus r 3 r 
so you will get r equivalent of the circuit is 3r divided by 2 3r divided by 2 okay so this is the r equivalent of the circuit so i hope this is clear right so i hope this is clear now the same circuit given right so in this let us suppose current is i now i told uh, whatever current goes into the circuit it must come out so current splits over here is i by 2 over here is i by 2 now uh, whatever splits whatever current splits over here it has to come over here that is uh, i by 2 minus x so whatever current splits over here has to go into this uh, resistance so it will be uh, the we can detach this point so it will become uh, r2 r2 that means equal current will go so it will be i by 4 and i by 4 so we have this is i by 4 this is again i by 2 and i by 2 so we know each and every uh, current we know the potential difference across a and b that is vab so what is the r equivalent in the circuit r equivalent is vab potential difference across it right vab divided by the current in the circuit total current in the circuit now if i go from a to b i will apply the switch of voltage law over here this is positive this is negative so i by 2 into r i by 2 into r so this will be i by 4 into r current flows from higher to lower again this will be i by 4 into r i by 4 into r so and this will be i by 2 into r so if if you go from a to b it will be va minus of i by 2 into r then minus of i by 4 into r minus of i by 4 into r minus of i by 2 into r is equal to vb so va minus vb that is the vab divided by i if you calculate it if you calculate it you will get 3 r divided by so i hope this is clear right 3 r divided by the uh, 2 and this is the r equivalent in the circuit this is r equivalent in the circuit now now the last rule we have is to take this point this point then this 2 and 3 let us suppose this is point 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 right and then 7 8 and 9 now this 2 and 3 are equal potential 4 5 6 are equal potential 7 8 equal potential 9 equal, uh, we have the last point right so we have 1 then 2 comma 3 equal potential then 4 4 comma 5 comma 6 and then we have 7 comma 8 and the last one that is 9 right so we can have 1 and 2 1 and 2 one resistance 1 and 3 one resistance so we have uh, two resistances over here likewise in between 2 and 4 uh, one resistance 2 and 5 one resistance 3 and 5 3 and 6 so in all four resistances are there so four resistances are there right now uh, between uh, this 4 5 6 and 7 8 you can say 4 5 6 and 7 8 four resistances 1 2 3 4 4 so 1 2 Three, four, four resistances are there, right? And the ninth, seven, eight, and nine, we have two resistances, right? So if you calculate this, this will be R by two. If you calculate this, this will be R by four. If you calculate this, this will be R by four. This will be R by two. And if you see the R equivalent, they all are in series. So we have R by two plus R by four plus R by four. Plus R by two, and if you calculate it, you will get two R by four, two R by four. It will be four uh, R by four, and this six R by four. That is three R by. Two. So this is the R equivalent in the electric circuit, right? So now uh, we'll see one complicated, that is infinite grid problem. How to solve that by using symmetry? Okay. Infinite. grid problem right so we have let us suppose we have this uh, 
circuit like this and it is uh, going towards infinity in every direction we can say right it is going towards infinity in every direction and the each resistance each resistance of the circuit in the branch is r right each resistance in the circuit is r we have so so we can say we can say the uh, we want supposed to be the equivalent resistance between a and b the equivalent resistance between a and b so as you can see over here the equivalent resistance we want between a and b so now what to do so we can use the use the symmetry in here and how to use the symmetry see i can i can make a guess right that from infinity i am taking the current right from infinity i am taking the current that is i am taking the current source right from infinity and i have to uh, give it back to infinity right so this current is will split into four parts because if you go in this branch it will be still infinite if you grow go in this branch it will be infinite if you go in this branch it will be infinite rightward it is infinite so this i this i current will split into two into four equal parts right so four equal parts it will be i by 4 it will be i by 4 it will be i by 4 and it will be i by 4 so i hope this is clear right right so this will splits into four equal parts and likewise i can i can take the current from this b i can take the current from this b and i i i give it back to i i i'll give it back to what is called as infinity right i'll give it back to infinity so now uh, i have to make a superposition theorem over here i have to switch off this switch off this so that current in this branch will be i by 4 right i by 4 current in this branch will be i by 4 current in this branch will be i by 4 and the current in this branch will be i by 4 now i i i switched on both the current sources so what will happen now what will happen now now the current in this will be 2i by 4 current in this will be 2i by 4 so if i go from a to b it will be va minus of 2i by 4 into r must be equal to vb so va minus vb is equal to what we have is uh, i by 2 into r and if you calculate r equivalent and that is equal to va minus vb by the total current and that is equal to we can have r divided by 2 so i hope this is clear now you can you can you can check this the same with the honeycomb structure also with uh, this structure which which extend to infinity we can say right this structure which extend to infinity right so like this we have till infinity you can use the same method same method to find what is called as the equivalent resistance okay so this is going to infinity this is going to infinity this is going to infinity take and find the equivalent resistance between this and this point you can use the same method and you can find and here only difference is the current instead of four it will divide into three parts so it will be like i by 3 i by 3 and i by 3 and uh, we have the total total current in this branch is 2 i by 3 and total resistance will get is 2 r by 3 so i hope this is clear thank you so much